How's it going today? This is Brad with AfterMarketTractorParts.com. Uh, so we've got another injection pump that uh, we'll show you how to time, because apparently nobody on the internet shows you how to do this very well. So this is a New Holland L185 skid steer. Um, it's got a little four-cylinder engine in it with a Bosch injection pump. Um, these are not always complicated to do once you figure out where they're pinned at and stuff like that. So anytime you take an injection pump off, you should pin the engine to TDC number one. So in this case, we actually took the valve cover off and to figure out how to pin it and exactly where we was at, we uh, turned it till the valves were loose. We knew we was on TDC number one, um, but then we knew there was a couple of timing holes that we could look through. Um, so the one we used is on the front of your engine cover. And if you look in there, uh -huh. can you see the hole? Maybe. You look in there, there's a hole. Boy, it's tough. I don't know why we had such a tough time with this. There it is. Got it. All right. So there should be a pin that'll drop in there. Um, we don't have the exact pin to go in there, but so if you turn your engine over until that hole comes up. So don't just turn the engine over, however. Um, the engine rotates a certain direction. So I just bump your engine over. Bump your key over to no. So I even mark mine so I know I gotta turn it down. So that you're always going in that direction so your gear lash is always the same. So uh, it's an inch and seven sixteenth socket that fits on there. That'll help you out. Uh, after you get time, there is a pin right here. So you take that bolt loose, you pull that little thing out and you put that back in, you jam it on there. That'll keep your pump time to TDC. So, and then you just take your lines and your nuts off there and send her away so this is uh i don't know we'll do a couple more of these as many as i can 